The first thing I'm going to do is grab a 360 degree image from polyhaven.com. So just go there and then I'm going to go to the HDRIs. Now these are 360 degree images uh, geared for lighting the 3D scene, uh, but they're going to work for our um, 360 lens. So I'm just going to go to indoor and let's find something interesting. Let's choose this workshop foundry. So I'm going to click on that. Now you can download an EXR or HDR format. Uh, instead of that, I'm just going to come over here and download this tone mapped JPEG. So this loses all the lighting information that you, you would use for a 3D scene, but that's not what we're using it for in Lens Studio. So the JPEG is perfect because we because then we don't need to convert any file formats. So I'm just going to save that image and then head over to Lens Studio. So here in Lens Studio, I'm going to drag that image over here to the resources panel to import it. Now, if you remember when we downloaded it, it was 8K resolution, but here we see a message about it being resized to 2048 by 1024. That's because Lens Studio supports a max resolution on any one side of 2048. So it's not gonna be full 8K, but that's fine. All right, and next we're going to add an unlit material. So let's add that. And once that material is added, go ahead and select it. And for the base texture, we're going to use that 360 image that we imported. So do that, and then you should see a nice little preview here. Next, I'm going to come up to the Objects panel, and I'm going to add a sphere. And once that's added, I'm going to set this material to my unlit material, and you should see it here. So we zoom in here and see our sphere, and as we rotate around, you can see that image kind of going all around the sphere. All right, so that's great, but it's not kind of around the user. So what we're going to do is take the sphere and scale it up. So I'm going to change the scale. I can select the center box, or you can type it in here. But regardless, we're going to scale it up, just make it a bit bigger, and you might see it disappear. The reason for that is materials are not displayed on both sides. So if we zoom out, we can see our material, but we want to make sure we can see it when we're at the camera, which is now inside the sphere. So what I'm going to do is change this cool mode from back, which is hiding the any of the faces that are not directly facing the camera, from back to front. That's going to invert things. So if I scroll out, I can still see the sphere, but I'm looking through to the other side. And so that gives us this 360 effect. OK, so we have our uh, spherical image, but it's just static. If we were to move the camera around, nothing's going to happen. So to show that, I'm going to switch to the rear view camera and choose the sky rear view. So if we don't have the sphere, you see that our camera is moving. So ideally, we'd have our image rotating. So what we need to do is select the camera, add component, and we want to find device tracking, not location tracking, just device tracking. And we want to change this tracking mode to rotation. Our image is going to rotate with that camera movement. So you can see that here. Now this is pretty cool that this is working, but on its own, it's a little boring. So let's go ahead and make sure we can see the person. So if I switch back to my front camera, I have this idle person one preview. You can see that the person's not visible. So just a quick way to add them back in. I'm going to come here to the objects panel, add a screen image. And this image, I want the texture to be the device camera texture. And so we've lost our background. So on the camera, I'm going to select that. And on the mask texture, I'm going to click here. Let's go ahead and add a new segmentation texture, portrait background. Click OK. You can see that the cutout is inverted. So just select the segmentation, invert it, and now you have our person here. And if we push this to our device, you can see that as I turn, the background is rotating behind me and I am kind of placed in that scene. 